to have this token here called JJ. I have no idea how good this is. Uh, <laughs> if anyone in the comment knows what this is, please let me know. But what we can see is that the initial volume was quite high. It dropped down and now it's back up. And so what you might want to do, for example, is that in this token that's been deployed for about a week, is that you say, look, I want to see who the top buyers were on the 27th of May and the 28th of May because they bought the dip effectively and believed in the fundamentals and are now profitable. So what we do here is we pick the date range we want. So 27th and 28th, we go here and then we would go and enter those dates. And the really cool thing about this is that you can be very specific with the terms you want and that allows you to find all these addresses here. And so, as I said earlier, some of the labels you want to be seeing are these Telegram bots because these are addresses that are in the trenches buying meme coins consistently. And this is something that they that that their label is indicative of of uh, telling you what you can do. So we've got that big up banana but user, and we also let's just go through some of these addresses here. Again, don't click into every single address; it's worth hovering over. When you're looking at meme coins, you want to be looking at labels like Token Millionaire, High Balance, Heavy Dex Trader, Medium Dex Trader, because this shows that they are pumping quite a lot of volume or they're very active on chain. And while we've got a short amount of time today, I will just go through one or two of these addresses. And later on, maybe next week or the week after, I can go into this workflow in a much deeper detail. But at a high level, let's just keep it very simple. So this is one user, and we can see that in terms of Token JJ, they hold a substantial amount, but they have realized some profit and they've also realized profit on another meme coin, uh, MAGA, so a uh, Trump derivative. And if we go to peer now and we go to the unrealized section, so we'll wait for this to load. So you can see that this to this address in the last 90 days has a low average return on investment, a good win rate, and they have traded a few tokens, and but they do make a lot of trades. So this could imply that they might be buying quite aggressively for specific positions. And so the way we can determine that is that if we look at the biggest holding and the largest holding is JJ, we right click and then we go to wallet profile of the token. You can do this throughout Nansen. So if you see an address and they're doing something with a token, just right click and you can most likely see wallet profile of a token to see what is going on. And so let's just see what they're doing. We'll let this load again. What a profile of token works and all the chains that we support with more chains coming out and being released later next week, which I'm excited to share. And as we can see here is that they are actively buying and they sold and then they bought more and you can see the value, the time, the current value. And this is relatively interesting because you can see, for example, the buys that they were making were in the few hundred dollars and then the current value at the time is in the thousands and they do take profit, which is really interesting. So. If you're someone who finds this behavior really interesting, what you can do, as I said earlier, is either set up an alert directly for this address. So you would set up an alert for token transfer and then set up the notification over Telegram, Slack, or Discord. Or you would set up custom labels and then say, look, they bought this token here. They could be doing some interesting things here. I'm gonna set up alerts for that specific label and I'm gonna make a note of why I find that interesting. And uh, yeah, you can do both. I mean, you can set custom hills and smart alerts. You can do all sorts of things. And let's look at the other address here. We can see that this is also a relatively new address that since the 19th or 20th of May, they had about 10K. They're now up to 72,000. I would consider that to be very interesting. And if we look here again, their trade highlights, they do have some wins. So the trade highlights, again, just to make it very clear, covers realized, so you won't know the unrealized gains within that. But we can see, again, this token that we're looking into, this meme coin JJ, they've made 78% on this, which is about 33,000 for them. Which is interesting, we can see the holdings, and we can see the token, so we saw Footy, for example, that they made money on as well in there. I'm just going to the PNL tab, and so just to kind of decipher what else they're doing. And so often what you'll find is that when you're looking or using Nansen, you can spend about half an hour to an hour every day on a certain theme or a certain token or a certain trend and start discovering these addresses. And then once you get those addresses is to set those customer alerts up. And then once you have those customer alerts set up, you can start using all that work you put in on a rolling basis just to see what is going on in here. And so as we see, for example, we see the realized gains and then the unrealized gains we can see the 
trade performance of what they're trading at the moment. And it doesn't seem that they hold anything at the moment, which is really interesting to see. But for a meme coin basis, it doesn't help you out much at all. 11222. Um, these most of these features that I'm showing at the moment are for the Pioneer plan. So PNL is for Pioneer, but you can do do basic token research or with uh, the free plan. So the free plan is at app.nansen.ai and you can still see the who bought, who sold. The main difference with the free plan versus the Pioneer plan is the type of labeling. So you won't have access to smart money and some other labels, but you can still discover and see what addresses are doing. And if you think it'll be useful, I'm more than happy to do an episode of, of office hours using the free plan. Um, if anyone else finds that useful, I'm more happy to kind of go for maybe even this workflow, for example, using who bought and who sold and uh, through the free plan. And then finally, while we're in this topic of finding meme coin traders, we really want to find these interesting ones. The last one I was to dive into that we found through who bought and who sold was this address here. They are a token millionaire and we can see that since early Feb late February, they had what, just under 50,000. Their token balance is now 1.6 million. This is really interesting. This can be really actionable and really exciting, interesting to see. If we go down to their trade highlights, if we've seen substantial growth like this, we expect to see high wins. And we see that Apu, they've made 500,000. They On Pepe, they've made 250,000. They've bought some meme coin AI, meme AI coins, I think, by the looks of things. And we also noticed this NMT token again, which is interesting because we saw that very early on in this episode and maybe there's something there um, but for a point in time we don't have time to really dive into that right now so if again we go to pnl pnl is for the pioneer plan so you won't have access to this if you're doing this on the free side of things and we go to the unrealized gains so we see this address has a very high average return or per trade so that means they have regularly getting high wins but we also see that the win rate is quite low relative i mean 44 percent is okay and but if you're looking for addresses that may be constantly winning on chain you want to be seeing those addresses that have a higher win rate often 50 60 70 percent sometimes it's even higher um we haven't had found any just yet but we also haven't uh included the fact that this address has got these tokens here in unrealized gains and they're up quite substantially so when they finish these trades the win rate is likely to go up. They did lose 27k on Pepe coin, <laughs> BVM, they lost 20k on and stuff like that. This seems like someone that is actively trading the latest trends, maybe meme coins related to trends. We see like AI coins here as well as Apu, Pepe, Pepe coin, so JJ, stuff like that. So maybe there's something there in terms of this address's behavior. <laughs> 